Hey friends, welcome to my channel, Thrifting Adventures. If you're new to my channel, my name is Stephanie and my channel is all about thrifting. So today I'm going to have a $15 or less drop sale with a variety of items, some vintage, some newer pieces, some for decor, some for kids. So um, I often do these drop sales now, which are really fun. So if you're not able to go to a YouTube live sale, these are kind of easy and relaxing to participate in. And so all you need to do if you want to purchase an item from this drop sale is email me your PayPal email, your physical mailing address, your real name, and your YouTube name. Now, if you've already bought from me before and I have all your information, you don't have to email me your information again. But if you're new to me, I would need you to email me. There's the email down below, all your information, so I can send you an invoice uh, with the shipping, and then you will pay the invoice through PayPal, and I will ship your item. And I ship through Pirate Ship. That seems to be the cheapest. I know that they're raising prices and stuff, but I try to find the cheapest way to ship your items, and Pirate Ship seems to be the cheapest with like discounts and stuff. And I ship from Washington State, that is the West Coast, not Washington DC, Washington State the West Coast. Um, so if you are buying from Florida, it might be a little bit more than if you were buying from, you know, Oregon or California. So anyways, let's get started. So each item is going to have a number and all you would need to do to claim the item to buy it is to type the number down below. Now I'll be able to see who's first in typing the number of the item by the timestamp on the comment. So just let you know, like if there's two people that wanted item five, I can tell by the timestamp who was first in typing number five that they wanted to claim. All right, so now let's get started. Okay, let's see. Let's start with something fun. This is a Beanie Boo. These are quite collectible. They make all kinds of animals and they give each one a name. His name is Sammy. He comes new with the tags. He's a cute little owl and he is going to be $5, number 14, $5, number 14. So if you don't have this one in your collection, this is a great one to put in your little collection. Makes a nice little gift too. All right, next up, I'm not sure, exactly sure when Mother's Day is, but I know it's probably in a few months. Um, this is a beautiful vintage framed poem um, with a beautiful vintage picture and it's called Mother. It says she traveled the journey before you. She has known all the cost of the way. She paid out the price to its fullness that motherhood only can pay. She loved when the world was against you. She hoped when your hopes and can died. She clung to your hand when the clinging left scars in her heart deep and wide. She labored and loved and was happy for down deep in her kind heart she knew. Your kindness and love would repay her for all that she did just for you. And I think it says... Copyright 1916. So it is framed. And here's the back. Now this has come apart. You would just need to put another little hook here to tie it on so you can hang it easily. And this right here is $10, number 12. $10, number 12. Now I don't have the prices written down on the, on the tags, but you can see I have the numbers written down. So make sure to listen carefully for the price of the items. Um, oops, next up, let's see, is a cute little piggy bank, great for springtime. And this little guy, he's kind of got the flocked, uh, flocked feel to it. Nice and fuzzy, got the red eyes, he's got the original stopper. And he's very lightweight, says made in China, so not super old. Great for Easter. And he's just going to be $3, number eight. $3, number eight. It'd be cute to put like some money in that and then put it along in the Easter egg basket for your kids with some candies and stuff. Next up is this wooden frame. Now this is newer. It is a four inch by six inch. It doesn't have the backing. I think this would be great for crafting. You could easily put a backing here, a beautiful picture. I just love the carved look. And this is going to be $5, number two. $5, number two. Kind of has that shabby chic look to it. Shabby chic. 
Next up, I have a lot of these, a bag full of these plastic little kind of tinker toys. Um, these are not super old, but they are old. Made in West Germany. Made in West Germany. And these would be great for like cake toppers, decorating. I pictured these like on a cake. So you got like the little dump truck with a little steamboat. With, like a little plane, great colors made in West Germany. Like if your kids was into construction trucks, this would be great. There's a little train. There's another little boat. So the whole bag is filled with these. And this bag here is going to be $5, $5 for the little grab bag of West Germany toys, number six, $5, number six. Next up, my mom actually found these at the thrift store and asked if I wanted them. They're old spice tins, and I think they have the original spice in them. Um, I think they're... They're as is, they're shut. Nothing's coming out of them unless you want to try to prime them. So they have seen somewhere that these are all vintage. These are great for collectors. If you wanted to clean them up, they could be for decor. But they are shabby. They're definitely shabby. So you get all three of them for $5, number five. $5, number five. If you're a collector of the vintage spices that has the vintage spice inside. <laughs> All right. Next up is this cute little doll. She's got the prettiest blue eyes. And she ha and she's on a stand, so she's easy easily to easy to display. Look at her beautiful blue eyes. She's got her little sun hat. And her cute little dress. Um, it doesn't say where she's made from. She is plastic and then the material is just cotton. But she's going to be $5, number four. $5, number four. Um, next up, I have... A made in USA light blue old insulator. It says Hem and Gray number 19. This got some weight to it. It has a little chip on the inside. Little chip on the inside. So you got to be careful not to touch that. Oh, there's a tiny little chip right there too. But the front part of it is good. It says made in USA. Sometimes people put like little twinkle lights in there. So this guy is going to be $10, number 15. $10, number 15. I know people collect those. They have them all different colors. Um, these are little ornaments, but I don't feel like they're like really Christmassy. You could use these ornaments for like package toppers or crafting. It's all little teddy bears. And it's new and sealed. It's from 1984, the little cardboard ornaments. And look at these cute little teddy bears. Aren't those so sweet? <laughs> and these are only gonna be $3, number seven. $3, number seven. Let's get all this up. Next up, I have this beautiful wicker basket with the leather handle. This is great for like if you're going to the flea market and you're getting a lot of littles and you just want to throw them in your basket. Great for picnics. You could put like your wine bottles and cheese in there. Um, this is a great basket. It sits really nicely. Here's the inside. And this is going to be $15 number one. $15, number one. Next up, this is a little ornament, but I think this is like, it seems like a spring type of ornament. Looks like a little flower. And it's got like that opalescent blue look to it. And see, it kind of has, it's like almost like a chi like chimes. It's got a little bell. 
or a bell, however you want to say it. Um, but it's so pretty. And this is going to be, and it's glass. It's all glass. $5, number 11. $5, number 11. And if you want to store it away, it just folds up like that. So $5, number 11 for that. I have a cute little Snoopy. If you're into Charlie Brown and Snoopy and all that, he is originally from Hallmark, still has original tag, Snoopy. And he is, let's see, it's made in China. I don't think it's super, super old. Does not, I don't think it has the year on it. But he's kind of got a Mardi Gras look to him. He's a little Hallmark plush. He's very cute and he's new with the tags. He'd be, make a great gift for any collector. And he's $5, number 13. $5, number 13. Oops. Next up, I have a book. Now, if you just buy this book by itself, I can send it medium mail. If you buy it with other things, then I'll have to send it by weight. But this is Mother Goose Pictures by, I think, Gayo Fujikawa. I, I'm not saying the name right. <laughs> but this is a famous um, illustrator. And it's just all these cute little poems with all these illustrations. Now this book is as is. It is it has some stainage. If that's the word, stainage. <laughs> and it has a little bit of wear to it, like on the edges here and edges there. So it's not in perfect condition, but the pictures are amazing. Look at these pictures and the cute little poem. So this book is going to be $5, number three, $5, number three. Next up, this would make a really cool gift. It is a uh, world mug with coloring pen so it comes in this original box and inside you'll get this cup that has a uh, I think it's the world yeah it has all these continents and countries and it's just blank but then they give you a pen and I think you can like write down the places you've been to or you could just color it in but it's kind of like a crafty fun little gift and this guy, uh, sorry, it's going to be $5, number 10, $5, number 10. And my last item is a vintage plush. It's a white monkey. It is made in Japan. It's the brand Kamar, K-A-M-A-R. And he has a bendable tail. He's a little bit dingy on the back, but this is a mid-century plush, so I think he's in pretty good condition for how old he is. And this guy's going to be $8, number 9. $8, number 9. And those are all my items. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you'd like to purchase any of the items, just comment down below the number of the item you want. And then if you don't have... If you haven't bought from me before, send your information to the email right there, your PayPal email, your mailing address, your real name, and your YouTube name. I'll send you an invoice through PayPal. You pay that, and I ship you through Pirate Ship. And if you've already bought from me before, I already have your information. So thank you guys so much. Make sure to watch some of my other videos. And if you haven't already, I'd love for you to subscribe. All right. Bye-bye.